Welcome back Super Soul Sisters. Today we're going to talk about Dig Deep Shoes. So this is a term that I picked up from um, a friend of mine who, um, who brother actually used to say this. When things were getting really tough, he used to say, well, you know, Vic, so I had to just dig deep. <laughs> so that's really what this is about. It's like when you're about to feel like you're going to give up, you just like don't have what it takes to keep on going. And sometimes you actually just have to dig deep. You just got to go in and just tough it out, baby. Just make it happen. And honestly, we all have this, don't we? These are dig deep shoes. We've got to, you know, pop them on. And whether you like it or not, you got to ride that wave. So this is one of the things that I often wish, you know, um, a lot of people would, I learned this really in South Africa, if I'm honest, where, um, you know, like if you went swimming in the sea and you get caught up in the current, if you're going to fight that wave, if you're going to fight that current, you're going to wear yourself out. And that's when people tend to drown. This is where they, they, they just, you know, denying what is and not going with the flow um, and not using the current to their advantage. And it's the same sort of thing as like when you when you dig deep, sometimes it's not the way you want to be going. You know, you, you get swept up by life. Something comes and takes you along down this road that you weren't expecting. Um, you know, like, you know, an example for me was last year with, um, you know, my husband being diagnosed with cancer. I mean, we didn't, we didn't want that. He didn't want that, but it is what it is. It's, it's, it's come, it's arrived. And this is all part of your resilience training. It's like, how do I, how do I cope with that? How do I deal with that? And people deal with it in different ways. And this is what my shoe, you know, psychology is all about. It's like, right, okay, I've got to put on this type of shoe sets, of, you know, um, shoes to, to be able to get through this sort of scenario. Or sometimes I need to be wearing these ones in order to get through this scenario. And sometimes I actually need to go and do some of the emotional, you know, um, like I've got the emotional toolkit that I suggest that you all get, that everybody can use on themselves, that tiny little techniques that you can use at any time, any place, anywhere, um, ideally in, you know, a quieter sort of private space, but it, it can be done anywhere. And especially ladies, like I, it's like my emotional toolkit in my head is a mental toolkit that goes in my handbag and it goes everywhere with me. And if I have a crisis, then I'll whip out a particular technique or exercise and I can do that. And it can be done on myself. It can be done on my friends. You can do this for yourself, your friends, your family, your kids, whatever, you know, whoever. Um, actually benefits you so it helps you this is this building our awareness of this is the shoes that I need to actually wear at this time and I'm a it's being consciously aware of like oh I've got to wear my dig deep shoes now um, I've recognized that this I'm now in this current like with my husband with him having um, cancer and it was like well you don't want to be there but you, you can fight it, you can deny it, you can go, right, you know, I'm in denial about that, that's not going to help him, you know, so, you know, recognizing that, oh, this is not the direction, that's an awareness thing, it's like, what are the pairs of shoes that are going to help me get through this situation, A, B, C, and D, and then you can pick out of your closet the ones that are going to make you the most resilient. And one of them that I had to do was my dig deep shoes. And I really did have to dig deep at times of the process with him. He's all good, by the way, just so that you guys know if, you, if, you're, not, if you're remotely interested. Um, but, you know, there were times where it was like, holy, I mean, we've already got the pandemic to deal with. And then you've got that on top of it. I mean, it's like, okay, <laughs> thanks universe, you know, just checking how dig deep you can go. And you put them on and you go, right, um, I have to find a way to get through this. And there are times, honestly, where you're just like, OMG, this is just like, what? Like, you know, that instance of, I don't know if you've listened to my previous video, if you... Um, Oh, there's there's a few that I've made references to, like with the um with the surgeon. He really botched the last surgery that Mahabi was supposed to have, or did have, and you know it set him back. I mean, he landed up in hospital. It was supposed to be a twenty minute uh, to thirty minute op, 
and he landed up in seven weeks in hospital and I nearly lost him twice. Now, you got to dig deep in those times. Like, that's like, holy crap, man, dude. How do you maintain a level where you're not going to want to, you know, like, <laughs> you just want to, I just, uh, there were parts of me that were going, oh, I just want to, you know, the mama bear coming out and it's like, oh, I just want to go after the surgeon. And then there's the other side going, well, it's actually not going to help you. What, you know, how is that? You, you've got to do that in a civil way. You've got to do that in the right way. You've got to do the review in the right way. So those are different shoes. They're not the reactive shoes. They're not the fighting shoes. They're not the, you still have to be brave, stand up. I had to get my stand up shoes on. And if you haven't listened to that, go and have a listen to that video, your stand up shoes on. And then at one, uh, and then if it was like, no, he's not getting the message of don't come near my husband again. So I had to put my Xena warrior shoes on, which is the next set of, you know, right. You know, no is no, you need to go away now. I'm not interested. And if I need to take this further, I will. And I did have to do that. So it's getting brave enough to do that. But inside, you've also got to have, you know, when I wasn't dealing with that, it was the dig deep shoes because I had to be there for our kids. I had to be there for my husband. Um, it was challenging because, you know, he was like in, in uh, Christchurch. We live in Queenstown because we're a smaller town. We don't have the hospital facilities that deal with those bigger kind of issues. So there was a lot of juggling of, you know, we had to get him there for this operation or for that specialist review. Um, you know, there was another place called Dunedin, which is also ours. You know, you either fly or you drive, not to Dunedin, you drive to Dunedin. But, you know, it's several hours. Now you've got to up sticks the kids. You've got to, they, you know, at one point when he was getting his radiation and chemo, we had to be, I can't even remember how many weeks it was that we had to be in Dunedin for for that. And it was suddenly I had to find accommodation. It was all short notice. There was no accommodation to be found. Um, you know, and it's, you have to dig deep. And if it hadn't have been for all of these techniques that I'm teaching you, there's no friggin' way. I'm telling you, no friggin' way I would have handled. And you've got to go, right, these times, even with all my training, it's like, hole you know it was like the dig i'll give you an example with a couple of examples with the dig deep shoes like trying to find a place um in dunedin to stay at the last minute to go and get this emergency treatment done um and there just wasn't um accommodation like it's quite um because of the hospital facilities a lot of people come in and stay and they have a lot of conferences so and they don't have that much accommodation available combined with the pandemic you see um a lot of accommodations were no longer available because they had you know wiped out or they had gone into long-term rentals so accommodation rentals weren't actually an option so trying to find something at the last minute there were places but it was where there was four days here five days there or a few days you know or just the weekend or whatever and it was honestly it was very stressful just trying to find the accommodation for it was like six or seven weeks solid without having and I didn't want to have it where he had to go off and have his radiation and his chemo and now I have to shift to another accommodation just for the weekend and then come back into the accommodation so i you know you get resourceful and i'm going to talk about this as well as the white rabbit shoes um you've got to think outside the 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 screen you've got to make a plan so i'll talk about that in in depth um in another vid um but effectively um i landed up you know uh finding um Oh, an amazing couple that cancelled some of their other bookings so that we could go in there for that period of time. So I'm, I made a plan. I, I pulled my, what I call my white rabbit shoes on. and But I had to dig deep. I mean, I, there were times where I was really frustrated. Like, it's like, OMG, if it's not, you know, challenging enough that you've got this to deal with, but you've now also got to get the kids into another school. You've got to, for that period of time, um, will they be, they've got a zoning thing over here where you have to be in the zone to be able to go to that school. So not only are we now challenged by the location, uh, like you don't get to choose where you're staying. You're lucky if you find anything, but now what school A has availability and will take you for a short period of time and is in the zone. And I we've got two kids. So there was a lot of, 
you know, you just have to find that inner resolve. And, you know, it, there was a lot of uh, chaos going on around you, around us. And I call it my inner zen. I have to go in to find that calm you know the the to find your center and i've got a little image i think i've mentioned this before of a little buddha and he's like in the eye of the storm and all this crazy whirlwind is going on. and i had to find my inner buddha i had to find my inner zen every single day i had to dig deep there were times where i was like how am i going to pull this off how's this going to work out is he going to be okay are we going to have a place to stay now you've got those parrot shoes on i mentioned those parrot shoes um earlier on in the channel if you haven't had a listen to that go back and have a wee listen to that really good because that's those records it's like the what ifs it's like what if it doesn't work out for me um you know the worst case scenario um da -da 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 -da. and it's like you can't do this you can't do it. not helpful don't need that mr parrot <laughs> you can cock it break all those records break all the patterns do all my little techniques you know do the breathing there's all sorts of things that you can do to help you tough it out and sometimes you just have to ride the wave so one of the things that like my um sister and even one of my brothers are saying is like you know how how are you how are you coping with all this you seem very calm you seem very collected and um and even a friend of mine and i said well i look at it kind of like uh riding you know in zambezi and Vict victoria falls okay which is i'm from zimbabwe um we have white water rapids okay and they go white water rafting in these rabbits and you sometimes hit the waves and sometimes you're gonna flip you know you just are so you have to ride that wave as best you can and sometimes you're gonna flip you're gonna get come out of that raft and you gotta know right how am i going to you know get to the other side if someone's not there and i have had a situation like this um where you know it was quite life-threatening i did get sucked into a whirlpool and it was how am i going to get out of this um and you know that was by the grace of god that i got out of there um i had my all i did have to think about it i had to find my inner zen i had to push myself out of the whirlpool with my oar and there was an Indian guy who was underneath me in the whirlpool and we put I pushed down I've managed to find a rock and I honestly I remember I thought it was my last days honestly I remember looking up and there was this like I felt like I was in a washing machine and all I could see was this white light going around like this and I was like well god if uh, if it's my day to to go this is going to be it and I guess there's only one thing that's going to get me out of here and that's you and fortunately fortunately um i found a rock um i literally just went i can't just panic and give up and i dug deep and i pushed down with my oar and i found a rock and i pushed as hard as i possibly could with this with my oar and then um i popped me out of the whirlpool and the indian guy was holding on to the back of the oar and i pulled him out with me and there was also another panic after that because I thought, right, finally I've got air. And I took a deep breath and my lungs were full of water. So I couldn't, I still couldn't breathe even though I was out of the water. So now, again, I've got to dig deep, find my inner zen, my little Buddha man. And I was like, okay, how am I going to start being able to breathe again? And of course, I was trying to do a Heinrich maneuver and everything on myself. And I literally was beating myself on the chest. We didn't have... There were too many people in the water for the amount of raft um, raft rescue guys. There were kayak guys who came with us, but they couldn't get us out. Um, they couldn't get to us. And so I went through a couple more rapids before I realized that they're, they're not going to rescue you. You actually have to get yourself out of the proverbial here. So I, I'm, I found myself onto a rock, but then, you know, you're always worried about crocodiles and things like that. But then, of course, I remembered being a son from Zimbabwe. Thank goodness. I was like, well, crocodiles don't like rapids they like the calmer waters so you're fine and right then i just was just desperate to be able to breathe again anyway i uh, chucked up all the water and i breathed you know breathed normally again thank goodness and helped this indian guy as well 
and we did land up getting back in the raft uh it was a touch and go for me i was like um you know you got to get back on that horse <laughs> whether you like it or not because i knew that if i didn't get back in that raft and raft for the rest of the day i'd never get in a raft again so i had to you know sometimes you do have to ride the waves and it's flipping rough and you don't want to do it and you've got to dig deep and whether you like it or not you've got to tough it baby you've got to tough it out now if you fight that wave you are going to wear yourself out and this is exactly what i was saying to the others i said you know sometimes like my brothers and you know my sister and everybody else and my friends they were like how were you able to to sort of keep it all, all together aside from learning all the stuff that i'm teaching you okay this is one of the reasons i'm teaching you guys it's like life is going to happen to you sometimes you just don't whether you like it or not you we've chosen our lessons as well there's that um but we got to be able to go right we've got to shift we've got a shape shift here we've got to get those shoes on what's gonna what shoes are gonna help me be more resilient here how am i going to be able to go right i need that pair of shoes that pair of shoes that pair of shoes that pair of shoes boom i've got those pair of shoes i'm aware boom i'm onto it okay right i need these techniques that vicky's taught me vicky jones taught me i'm out of my emotional toolkit whip 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 got them okay now i am set to go and honestly you get to be like the karate kid wax on wax off wax on wax off and that's exactly where i was but there were it, did, did it mean that it was any less hard for me absolutely not quite the contrary i had to dig deep because i had to I had to and you have to too if you're going through a tough time now get on your dig dig deep shoes go in find your zen find your inner space use these tools learn what you can okay this is what i'd love for you is for you to be proactive get your proactive shoes on and go right I'm going to learn all these things that Vicky Jane's teaching me. I'm going to have it where if something comes along, I am not sideswiped. I'm not taken out of the game. I, it doesn't floor me. Or if it floors me, I get straight back up again. And I am like, not, not going to happen again, mate. Not going to happen again. Or if it happens, it's just like, okay, I can deal with that. And it's like, but you're not, it makes you unshakable uh, it makes you more resilient it makes you staunch strong anchored you know it's like um i love how uh, bamboo sticks are a great example you know uh, i think there's a, a chinese saying that goes something along the don't be the oak tree be the bamboo and and that's all about that flexibility you know it's like the the sticks bend in the wind and they move you know with the flow you know whereas an oak tree if it's rigid um and the and a, and a staunch wind comes along it'll break those branches you can't be an oak tree when the proverbial hits the fan you gotta you gotta shape it you gotta move you gotta be flexible you gotta go i want those shoes i need those shoes you gotta know what those shoes are You've got to know what those shoes are, peeps. You've got to know. You've got to go, right, A, I'm aware that this is not ideal. B, thank goodness I've done all this training with Vicky Jane. And now I know I've got to wear that pair, that pair, that pair, that pair, that pair. Okay? Or it might even be six pairs. I don't know. You know? And the priority pair is going to be this one. I'm going to be wearing those majority of the day to day. Yes, I've got to wear these dig deep shoes when I get home. But that's okay. I've got it. And we make it happen. And that's, you know, you just got to tough it out and, and understand that you're not alone. Like that is another thing I think that a lot of, yeah, I don't know if it's just ladies. I think everybody sometimes, uh, you know, it depends on their personality, really, if I'm thinking about it. But there's some people who just don't want to burden other people, you know, like I'm one of those people. I don't like to dump on people, you know, like they've got enough problems. That's how I look at it. You know, you've got enough problems of your own. You don't need me dumping on your doorstep. But by the same token, um, you know, you expect them to like I expect people to know that I'm always there for them you know that the door's always open if you need to talk to me you know like my mates and whatever or if you need coaching or whatever you can you know book book with me um, or do group sessions whatever the case might be but as long as they know that I'm there to support but it's a two-way junction and that's the relationship thing you know so you've got to understand that you know don't when you dig deep you don't you don't have to do it on your own this is the whole reason I've got the Facebook group as well 
well and i would really love it if you guys would come and join us if you're not already in there if you're in here fantastic thank you um and please you know reach out to the other members go you know how you're doing oh, my name is i introduce myself and let's have a support network so that if you're having to dig deep that you've got um, your other super soul sisters around you going we got the sister together we can do this you know we we are one <laughs> we are one you know we we're united through the energy source that is universal source energy and it's part we are part of all of that big oneness so you know you're not actually alone you are in a community that cares so um if you're having a, a dig deep day or you're needing to get your dig deep shoes on, um, wear them with the knowledge that they're not going to be forever and that you will find a way. And that's when you've got to call on your white rabbit and your magician shoes, which I'll talk about in another video. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Today, I would like you to share if you have had a, a scenario where you've had to dig deep and how you actually got through it. Uh, please, would you add that in the comment section or over in the Facebook group if you're not already in here already. And um, let's see how we can support each other. All right, thank you so much and namaste.